Hey folks, it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering. I promised you a video on Mini DSP and here it is. This is the Mini DSP, or it's one of many Mini DSPs actually, and if you look below me on the screen, you can see just some of the configurations of a Mini DSP. What is a Mini DSP? Well, if you were going to chip your car, if you're going to put a performance chip in your car, or if you're going to put your um, the base management in your room on um, Valium, <laughs> to calm down the highs and lows, this would be it. Um, the Mini DSP is a digital signal processor, and you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for, you know, across the um, the acoustic uh, management of your or the audio management of your your system. But predominantly for us, its strength in home theater <coughs> lies, to a large degree anyway, in base management. Now this is uh, their 2x4, so it has uh, two inputs on the back and four outputs on the front. So, and you can, uh, you can do a lot with these things. Um, <clears throat> you've also got a USB fitting on here, which uh, connects to your laptop so you can program it. And in fact, if you look off to, to um, the side of me, you can see the, um, uh, the interface that you connect with. There's also a power supply which can be a USB or, um, you know, like a plug pack uh, driven power supply. So, um, why is this so good? Well, on a lot of, especially on lower end receivers, there is no decent parametric equalization and you often have limited phase control over your subwoofers. Trying to manage a subwoofer in a room is difficult, uh, you know, at best, but a mini DSP makes it really, really um, I wouldn't say easy, but sort of makes it very, very manageable. It gives you an incredible tool to resolve the problems in the room. Now, the question is, why is this different to AutoCal? Well, first of all, you have complete and total manual control over this. Um, so that's a big advantage. You can physically, if you're measuring the uh, audio in your room, you can make adjustments on this and see how it's behaving and you can physically move items and speakers and subwoofers around in the room and make the corrections with this as needed. With the AutoCal, it's sort of a once-off run. You have to then go back and see how it's going, but you don't really sort of know exactly uh, what's gone on. With this, you're in the driver's seat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this step-by-step step in terms of the interface. Um, now, this thing is light. You get them in many, many versions. Um, this one is a boxed version. You can get them like as an open board. You can uh, get a balanced and unbalanced version. If you look on the website, there are multiple configurations of mini DSPs and other products as well. So we're very proud to uh, be uh, the Australian representative for mini DSP because we <laughs> love this product. Now I've been using it for years and years and years. And um, these are about 115 roughly US dollars um, plus postage um, and you can also buy them directly from our website as well obviously in Australian dollars and uh, this is probably one of the cheapest and most potent additions you can add to your room uh, if you want to manage your room modes and, and know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to step you through uh, a, a few of the screens and show you I'm just running my laptop on the side here so this is the first screen that you'll see. You have input channel 1 and input channel 2 and you can uh, not only mute each input channel but you can adjust the volume on them. So you can see me you know, playing with the volume there. Um, <clears throat> and then you move on and on. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit to the routing window because um, that's one that's particularly useful. In here you can see the input 1 has gone to output 1 and output 2 and input two has gone to output two, uh, sorry, output three and output four. But we can send all of input one, for example, um, to output one, two, three, four. So if you've got one subwoofer output, you can then send it off to four different subwoofers, which I love. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a big fan of four subwoofers in a room. Not for the volume, but for that incredibly detailed and smoothed out base in, in managing room modes and multiple seats. Um, so uh, if you've got two subwoofer outputs then you can decide where you want those to go and you can duplicate the outputs and you can do pretty much anything you want with this thing. It's a very powerful little package. Right, so that's the routing. I'll skip back to the parametric EQ. Here 
you can take full manual control over your EQ and so I'll just throw a couple of figures in here so let's pick a frequency let's go to I don't know 40 uh, 45 Hertz I think it is um, change the gain and change the Q and we can layer these all together and so I can go on and on and on adding um, equalization to this room uh, I'll take that down and tighten that queue up a little bit and so on and so forth and I can just keep building and building and building the equalization management on this um, on this product now the really cool thing here is that I've got uh, equalization and um, parametric EQ this is on the input right so I've got EQ on the input then I go to the routing um, then we go to a crossover for each and every output so there's a crossover on each and every output and I can decide what sort of crossover I, I want to create there and what frequencies I want to cross over so I can do all of that base management there um, once we've decided the crossover then it goes on to the parametric EQ for each and every output so think about it I've got parametric EQ on every input um, so that would be like a global perhaps um, parametric EQ and then I can have individual parametric EQ for each and every um, output which is very very cool and then finally um, I then also uh, for outputs one and two uh, I have one screen which gives me um, uh, delay gain um, and phase uh, and I can control all of that here as well. So that's for outputs 1 and 2 and then for outputs 3 and 4. Finally, uh, with your parametric EQ, just going back to the screen again, I can then also choose to import from Room EQ Wizard. So if you've got the correct configuration of files, you can then take a room analysis, um, you can then load it in straight into a mini DSP and many DSP will then apply that um, room uh, curve uh, or the EQ to each of those inputs or outputs that you nominate. Incredibly powerful, incredibly useful. Um, so yeah, if you are trying to get a grip on your subwoofers, the beauty of this is you can buy it, use it with one subwoofer, and then as you add subwoofers to your system, you can, you can refine it more and more and more and really control those subwoofers and, and uh, manage them and, and tame them so that your room is is absolutely phenomenal um, so doesn't mean I don't always use the auto EQ but this is my go-to tool and, and considering the price you know when you're looking at something that's in and around the hundred dollar mark um, you, you can't go wrong you really can't go wrong so uh, check it out I would suggest anyone who has a subwoofer should have a mini DSP you know it's just such a useful tool and I find this much easier to use than some of the um, uh, controls that are actually built into the subwoofers because sometimes you've got a little display or even if it's on screen it's not the easiest to manage but this this is fantastic so uh, for anyone who's ever tried to um, tame a subwoofer mini DSP um, have a look on our website there's a link below you can buy them from home theater engineering and of course always email us with questions and uh, if, you've, if I've missed anything in this video that you want to know then uh, also free, uh, feel free to let me know about that as well. Um, obviously we're always sort of keen to share information and let people know the best way to go about things and this is one of my um, not so well kept secrets. Um, so mini DSP, stick one in your pocket, take it home, throw it into your, your listening room or your theatre and uh, really manage those base modes. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Um, as always, great to have you along.